Welcome. Today we're going to be working on converting various forms of the quadratic equation into the standard form. Recall, there are three different forms the quadratic equation can appear as. The first one is the standard equation. This is the one we're going to be working on getting all our quadratic equations to look like. Recall, the standard equation looks like this. Recall, it has the following form. y equals a x squared plus bx plus c. And it only needs to meet the following conditions. This is the form we most commonly work with in science and in graphing and in different programs such as Excel. In this version we have y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Again, we have the same limitation that a cannot be equal to 0 and h and k can be equal to any real number. The last version that we had looked at is the intercept form. Recall, the intercept form is y equals a times the quantity x minus p times the quantity x minus q. Like in the previous two cases, a cannot equal 0 and p and q can equal any real number. So now that we've reminded ourselves what the three forms look like, let's work on converting the vertex or innocent form to the standard form. I'm going to start with the vertex form. The vertex form has one extra step than the intercept form and then from there on out they'll look quite similar. To start out we need to expand on this exponential and we can rewrite our equation as x plus 1 times x plus 1 plus 2. And now we see we have two quantities being multiplied. How to multiply these? To multiply we're going to use a method called FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, and last. So let's use our problem to show how this works. For first, we take the first element in the first quantity and multiply it to the first element in the second quantity. In this case, x times x. Outside then tells us to take our first element from our first quantity and multiply it by the second element in the second quantity. In this case, we will have x times 1. Inside tells us to take the second element in our first quantity and multiply the first element in our second quantity, i.e. the two inside most terms. And in this case, we'll once again get x times 1. Last tells us to take our second element from our first quantity and multiply it by the last element in the second quantity. Again, multiplying the two second elements from each quantity. So for this, we'll get 1 times 1. And then we still carry down this plus 2. If we simplify, we'll get x times x goes to x squared. x times 1 will give us x. x times 1 will give us x. 1 times 1 gives us 1, and we bring down our 2. Now we combine like terms. We see these two are like terms, and these two are like terms. We rewrite our final equation then as this. y equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we can identify our a, b, and c. a equals 1, b equals 2, and c equals 3. To summarize, first we'll FOIL, then we'll simplify, combine like terms, and rewrite as a standard equation. Let's quickly go through 
converting an intercept form into a standard form equation. Let's take the case of the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2. Notice it's already in the expanded format for us. Now we just need to use FOIL. Multiply our first and we'll get x times x. We multiply the outside and we'll get plus 2 times x. If we multiply the inside terms, we'll get plus a negative 3 times x. And our last term will give us plus a negative 3 times 2. Now we move on to the next step of simplifying. x times x will give us x squared. 2 times x will give us 2x. Plus a negative 3x will give us minus 3x. And plus a negative 3 times 2 will give us a negative 6. Notice we have two like terms in this area. They both share an x, so we're going to combine them. Our final form will then look like x squared minus x minus 6. If you're wondering where that minus x came from, recall 2x minus 3x will give us minus 1x. This is how you convert vertex and intercept form into your standard form equations. So to summarize, to start, expand out any exponential quantities such as x minus 2 quantity squared and rewrite it as expanded out multiplication. Use FOIL to multiply quantities. Three, simplify your multiplications. Four, combine any like terms. And lastly, rewrite your equation in standard form.